Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! It's time to get ourselves in trouble once again. Well, with the trouble center. <laughs> but first, let's check the board. Don Pianta retires. Frankie to take mantle. Get a fat envelope ready. <laughs> Graffiti corner. Curse corner. Oh boy, are you glad you didn't read my journal. Ooh. <laughs> the ghost in cabin four. Yeah, the one from the... Excess Express. <laughs> anyway, Trouble Center right down here, as I'm sure you're familiar with already. Just need to check the board, of course. And here we are. Bloop. Now, there should be four to do. Yeah, and they're all relatively quick if I use cuts. So let's start with Frankie here. I'm looking for something. I can't say exactly what here, but I can tell you it's in person. I'm waiting on the west side of Roadport. Yes, let's go! For whatever reason, Frankie is over here. You talking that you taking my trouble? Well, I'm glad it's somebody tight lipped, that's all. See, after returning from Key Hall Key, I lost my wedding ring. Believe that? And I can't really look for it in front of Francesca. You so you gotta find it. Why are, why do they always lose rings? I know I lost it after I got back to Roadport, so it's somewhere in town for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling, I love you a billion times. <laughs> So you gotta do this. Alright. On this side of Rogueport, take Yoster across, and there's the wedding ring. Again! I got your ring! Yep, let me talk to you. There you go. You found it? Yep, 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 yep. My ring. Thanks, Mario. From the bottom of my heart. Now take this reward. A gold card! Now I can play a new game at the casino. I haven't even been able to look into her the eye lately. Kinda miss her now. So if you'll excuse me. It sucks time! Back to the trouble center! Next up is Chef Shimmy. I need some ingredients for cooking food that savages the, the tonsils. Uh, I need three things a golden leaf, a mystic egg, a keel mango. I'm waiting on, the, on board the Excess Express for your very prompt help. Yes, I'm sure they meant to say savages rather than uh, wait actually I'm gonna read I'm gonna reread that hold on yeah that's savages the tonsils I think he misused the word again <laughs> so yeah you'll notice that he needs three ingredients well you already know how to get two of them the golden uh, leaf is back at the creepy steeple you just go uh, sneak between the fence and then go take the path over to that tree you've already seen me get that one before uh, the Keel Mango is back on Keel Hall Key, of course, which we've, we've already got in our inventory here. Uh, just take the path right of the town, and then go hit the first tree you see uh, north of that path. Like, yeah, yeah, you see it. Anyway, uh, anyway I'm, gonna, I'm going to withdraw the stuff and stuff that I've got here. So, wait, 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 no, no, I want to withdraw, yes, yeah. oh, poopers. I need to do something about my inventory. <laughs> um, I'll I, I'll get rid of the HP drain, I suppose, and the rest I'll store. I really gotta sell some of this stuff. <laughs> All things considered, here. Uh, let's put. Um, how about the point swap in? And now, withdraw the gold leaf. Oh, uh, do I still have the keel mango in? Maybe I used it. Hmm. Yep, looks like I used it. Back to keel hall key I go then, I suppose. The music on this sort of sounds like something that you would hear in Donkey Kong Country. Doesn't it? It's got like that drum tribal beat of sorts that would fit perfectly in with the Donkey Kong Country games. Anyway, Kill Mango. <laughs> uh, this over here, I might as well show it again just because I'm in the middle of the quest. Right here, first tree, Kill Mango. As for that mystic egg, 
Remember to use your shortcut pipes here because we've got to go back over to the Boggly Woods. And I actually think it's this pipe. I hope it's this pipe. I always forget which pipe goes where... Okay, I was correct. So here we are, back at the Boggly Woods. And this is something that I didn't do before when I came through here, because I thought I would save it for uh, this quest, actually. Uh, you know Petuni? You know Petuni? Yes, this Petuni. Aw, Ponyo's always getting in trouble with the elder. He's still fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can you, can you play with me in instead? So say sure. Yes! Okay, okay, this is so awesome. You ready to play Stump Petunie? You ask me any questions you want, and there isn't a question I can't answer. Come on! So, we gotta create an easy question that Petunie can answer. There's only one thing that could, that Petunie can answer. But I'm gonna choose the wrong answer, I mean, choose the wrong stuff first. Huh? What kind of question is that? I don't even get what that means. You have to ask a real question, or it's no fun. Boo! Stump Petunie is over! So, you, I asked a legit question. Luigi likes which person the most, and she couldn't answer it. However, if I do it properly and ask, say... Mario... Oh, shoot! No! No, shoot! Right click, shoot, 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 shoot. Too quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, do it again. Mario likes... Which person the most? The person Mario likes the most? Dee -hee. I know that. You can't stump Petunie. Mario likes Princess Peach the most. Dee -hee -hee. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Dee -hee. Yes, I'm right. See, Petunie knows the answers to everything. Except she only knows the answer to that one and only one question. I actually thought she knew more. I mean, I actually thought you could ask her more questions than that, but I looked into it. And as far as I can tell, you that's the only thing she'll be able to answer. Anyway, for doing that, you get a mystic egg, and that's exactly what we need. Please me again sometime. All right, I will if I need another egg. But for now, to the Access Express. You know, dodging magic Koopas and uh, the Hammer Brothers projectiles in the sewer, pretty dang easy in this game. <laughs> Not so easy in the usual side-scrolling games. Anyway, uh, yes, yes, tickets. Go, 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 go! Mmm! Yeah, you can actually take the train as uh, many times as you'd like. Woo! As long as you have that ticket, of course. That ticket is like a free lifetime pass to the luxurious Excess Express. Luckily, though, there aren't any smorgs this time. <laughs> or Dupless. Dupless 2. So, alright, now that we're back here, we can go visit Chef Shimmy. Because he's always on the Excess Express cooking up a storm. Wait, hold on a sec. You better back away! Why? Because I think I might... <laughs> Motion sickness. Welcome, Star Chef Shimmy! Hello! Yes, hello to you. Thank you for accepting my request. I need three ingredients. A golden leaf, a mystic egg, a keel mango. Each one has an exotic taste and aroma that will enhance my mushroom dishes. <laughs> Have you found them for me? And I had great hopes that you were going to cook something without mushrooms. Anyway, golden leaf, here you go. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Mr. Gag, here you go. You can make your omelette. And a mango salsa for the side of the omelette or something. I don't know. They called to my palate and... And my skill begging me to turn them into delicacies. Thank you so much, my friend. This is your reward. 40 coins! And the trouble is now complete. Now, <clears throat> since I'm back to the Excess Express, I might as well um, show you something else as well. You know, since we're on the road, we are kind of in a position where we can't get off any time that we want to. So, what you actually got to do is sleep here for a few nights. And then... Uh, well, after the first night, you're going to automatically go over to the sunset time and stop at the Riverside Station. So, if you forgot something back at the Riverside Station, like, say, star pieces or shine sprites or badge uh, or whatnot, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. <clears throat> uh, and then when you sleep again, you're going to end up at Poshley Heights. So, going back through the Excess Express is far, far quicker 
than it is, or than it was, I should say, in uh, the actual chapter six. Yes, 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 yes. We are at the Riverside Station. Don't disembark me. I just want to go to sleep. No, you disembarked me. Da, <laughs> da. <Duh. laughs> Oh, by the way, um, remember back at the Riverside Station, I was able to blow those papers off the wall to uncover a door? Well, all the papers in that area are you can also blow off the wall, though you don't really find anything behind them. I thought that was pretty obvious, so I didn't really bother mentioning it, but I thought I would mention it now, just because, you know, I, I came back to the Excess Express, and I thought, eh, it's, it's a good time to mention that sort of thing. <clears throat> Alright, back to Poshley Heights. Now, normally, uh, we would have to take the train back to the um, uh, rogue port, but since I unlocked the shortcut pipe, remember when I destroyed that block? Oh yes, I can now use the shortcut pipe to get back to rogue port. Well, not rogue port specifically, but the sewers, you know, and then you would uh, traverse uh, up from the sewers from there. So yes. Uh, if you don't remember where the shortcut pipe was, I guess I'll show you. Past the hotel, go through here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait a second, where's the pipe? I thought it was in... Oh, there it is. Went a little too far to the right. <laughs> yeah, this shortcut pipe takes you back over to Rogueport Sewers. Alright, back to the trouble center for the last one. Why did I say the last one? I knew there was two more to do. I don't know, sometimes I derp. By the way, you can get as many Mystic Eggs as you want just by playing Petunie's game as well. Uh, you know, over and over again. Alright, next one is Toodles. I lent a book to Miss Jolene and now I need it back and rather quickly. Please meet me in Poshley Heights, would you, you wonderful trouble solver? Ah, oh, I was just there! Arr, remember to use your shortcut pipes. I think her house is this one, right here. Yes! So you accepted my crests for aid with my little trouble. You delightful man, you. <coughs> ah, mucus. I just decided I very much want to read a magazine I lent to Jolene. Jolene! At the Glitz Pit. But she lives in Glitzville, and that is very far from here, as you know. Could you go get it for me, you resourceful wizard, you? You're fabulous, dear. Oh, the last time I was at. The Glitz Pit. I was picking up a ton of underwear. By the way, remember this guy here. Oh, oh, this is no good. No one will solve my trouble. Yep, we'll be back here very, very shortly. <laughs> so yeah, it, they, they, it's kind of weird. They make you go uh, to Poshley Heights to... Um, well, sort of to Poshley Heights after, you know, going to Chef Shimmy. Uh, then you end up going to Poshley Heights again to... Um, start up a trouble with Toodles, and then you gotta go to the Glitz Pit, go to the Glitz Pit to do a trouble here, and then you gotta go back to the Glitz Pit to do another trouble. Do you need something? Hmm? Toodles Magazine? Oh, uh, yes, I know that one. Alright, alright, I'll return it soon. Hmm? I have to return it now? And put that magazine. Okay, fine, give me a moment. Hmm, what could this magazine be? Don't get the wrong idea. I borrowed this magazine as a promoter, that's all. I needed to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I follow fads or anything. It's a wrestling mag. A mag that Jolene returned. I, I, I just wanted to stay on top of the latest trends, okay? I have no more comments. Now, run along and take that toodles. Oh, don't be embarrassed to be a fan of something. Be proud of what you love, because you know why you love it. You know why it's awesome. Anyway, let's move on back over to... Ashley Heights again. I like how that platform there is always at the very bottom when you're moving towards it. Like, you go into the room, then you automatically move in the direction of that platform. If you keep moving towards that platform, you'll, you'll immediately be able to jump on top of that platform as soon as you reach it. So I think they did that on purpose to have like sort of a, a gameplay flow, that sort of thing intact. Anyway, uh, here we are back at Toodles. Did you get the magazine from Jolene, you wonderful man, you yeppers? 
Yes, this is the magazine I left the Jolene on, right? You are a true hero, thank you. Here is my thanks to you. A platinum car! Now we can play all the games at the casino, which means I could finally show that place off. Uh, later. <laughs> this magazine is very popular among certain celebrities. Everyone who is anyone has been spotted in a cafe with it under one arm. Welcome to Jip Jip. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nothing new. Alright, back to the trouble center for what is probably the easiest one to do. So, we should actually use our, bu our button to get down to the bottom faster than scrolling. Anyway, businessman, security code. I forgot the code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand in Glitzville. Yep, let's go! Hey, Rat Fink, I took your trouble. Ah, you're that fellow. So you're the one that accepted my request? Well, here's the thing. I forgot the code for the lock on the brief on my briefcase, and the prototype for company's new product is inside. This is a big deal. If I don't figure out how to get into that briefcase, I'll be sacked for sure. About that briefcase code. See, I'm a real chair fanatic. Like anything. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, like anything you sit on. I use the number of chairs in the houses I visited on as biz on, on business as the code. Don't judge me. I know it's weird. You gotta vis visit those places and count the chairs. The code has four digits, so here are the locations of the chairs. Ready? First is Krups' house in Petalburg. The second is Flurry's house in Bogley Woods. <clears throat> the third is Don Pianta's house in Rogueport. The fourth is Toodle's house in Poshley Heights. Oh, and I counted the sweet, sweet chair in the lovely garden also. I know it's a lot, but please help. And remember, a chair is anything you sit on. So, normally you would have to go back to all those places. Unless you have the code. Of course I've got the code. <clears throat> I, I highly, highly recommend that you just input this code. <laughs> anyway, it's two... Uh, wait a second. Wait, I thought the code was 2625. Oh, wait. I, how did I miss the more? I don't know. Sometimes I'm stupid. <laughs> 262... Five. There we go. Ah, it opened, yes. Thank you so very much. Maybe I can keep my job. I'll try and remember it from now on. Hold on a second. Please. Huh? What? Looks like he's giving me a gift at the hot dog stand. Could it be a hot dog? Well, no. <laughs> we were going to call it the tongue blistering fat dog. I was sure he'd be a hit. Huh? I shouldn't give up so easily? Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll do it. I'll just have to convince the fat dog guy. <laughs> I'm on it. I won't leave this place until I convince him. Wow, thanks for all your help. Here's your reward. You actually get hot sauce for this. Yep, it's my company's top item, our famous hot sauce. I have tons of this stuff, so just ask me if you want some. See you later. Yeah, this unlocks the ability to use hot sauce in uh, your zest tea recipes. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here since I did all the troubles. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.